Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. Today we will embark on a fascinating journey through Italy, discovering some of its most beautiful and fairy tale fortresses. From north to south, we will explore seven of Italy's most enchanting castles, each with its own unique history and unparalleled charm. We will immerse ourselves in the centuries of history enclosed within the walls of these majestic structures, from mysterious legends to priceless works of art, from breathtaking panoramic views to lush gardens. Each castle tells a story, an era, a piece of Italy's immense and rich culture. And before we dive into the fascinating world of Italian castles, we wanted to remind you to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already done so, turn on the notification bell and if you like the video put like to support us. Now, back to our magnificent castles. Number 1 The Orsini Odescalci Castle, Bracciano. It is one of the most impressive and best preserved castles in Europe, located on the shore of the picturesque Lake Bracciano. Built in the 15th century by the Orsini family, the castle later passed to the Odescalci family, keeping its splendid Renaissance architecture intact. The castle is spread over three floors, with round towers at the corners, offering breathtaking panoramic views of the lake below and the surrounding landscape. The castle's interior rooms are beautifully decorated with Renaissance frescoes, sculptures, tapestries and antique furniture, evidence of the opulence and refinement of the Italian aristocracy of the time. One of the most fascinating aspects of the Orsini Odescalci castle is its vast collection of medieval and Renaissance weapons, one of the most important in Italy. The castle is surrounded by a large park with a rich variety of plants, which contributes to a peaceful and relaxing atmosphere, far from the hustle and bustle of modern life. Today, the Orsini Odescalci Castle is a popular venue for luxury weddings and other events, thanks to its unique and romantic setting. Visiting the Orsini Odescalci Castle is like taking a trip back in time, allowing you to immerse yourself in the stories and legends of the Italian Renaissance, in the heart of a natural landscape of rare beauty. Number 2 The Castel dell'Ovo. Located on the islet of Megaride in the Bay of Naples, it is the oldest castle in the city and offers breathtaking panoramic views of the Bay of Naples. Its origins date back to Roman times, but the castle has undergone numerous transformations over the centuries, reflecting the historical and cultural evolution of Naples. The name, Castel dell'Ovo, Castle of the Egg, derives from a legend that the Latin poet Virgil hid a magic egg in the castle's foundations, ensuring its stability and the prosperity of Naples. The castle has served various functions throughout its long history, from royal residence to prison to becoming a venue for exhibitions and conferences in the present time. The Norman Tower, the castle's tallest, offers spectacular views of the city of Naples, Mount Vesuvius, and the sea, making Castel dell'Ovo an unmissable vantage point. Castel dell'Ovo's massive walls and towers bear witness to its strategic role in protecting Naples from invaders by sea. Today, Castel dell'Ovo represents one of the most iconic symbols of Naples, a place that encompasses centuries of history and culture and offers visitors a unique perspective on the beauty and diversity of the city. Number 3 Avio Castle. Positioned on a hill in the Alta Vallegrina in Trentino, it is one of the best preserved medieval castles in northern Italy, offering spectacular views of the surrounding valleys. Built between the 12th and 13th centuries, Avio Castle encompasses several structures, including the Picador Tower, the Baronial Palace, the Chapel of St. Michael, and the imposing surrounding walls. Particularly fascinating are the frescoes in the Knights Hall in the Baronial Palace, which depict scenes of courtship and tournaments, revealing the customs and fashions of the time. The 30-meter-high Picador Tower is a perfect example of medieval military architecture and offers a breathtaking panoramic view of the Adige Valley. The castle walls, interspersed with towers and ramparts, are well-preserved and are an impressive testament to the feudal power of the past. There is also a small vineyard within the complex, a tribute to the region's long tradition of winemaking. Today, Avio Castle is managed by FI, Fondo Ambiente Italiano, which has helped to preserve and enhance this important historical and cultural site. The Castle of Avio, with its enchanting location, historic structures and rich history, is a must-see destination for all lovers of medieval history and architecture. Number 4. Scaliger Castle, Sirmione. It is one of the most picturesque and best-preserved castles in Italy, a gem set among the crystal-clear waves of Lake Garda. Built by the Della Scala family in the 13th century, the castle serves as an introduction to the ancient village of Sirmione, welcoming visitors with its imposing bulk. The Scaliger Castle's most notable feature is its unique location, built on a small island amid the sparkling waters of the lake, making it a fairy tale setting. 
The castle's crenellated towers, together with the fortified harbour, the only one of its kind in Italy, testify to its original defensive function, designed to protect Simeone from attack by water. Climbing the Keep Tower, one can enjoy a breathtaking panoramic view of Lake Garda, an unforgettable experience for anyone visiting this historic site. The thick walls and ghibelline battlements of the Scalaga Castle tell stories of a time when knights, ladies and battles were part of daily life. Walking through the walls of the Scalaga Castle is like stepping back in time, transported to an era of heroes and legends, surrounded by a landscape of rare beauty. Today, the Scalaga Castle in Sirmione represents one of the most evocative and visited places on Lake Garda, a fascinating combination of history, architecture and nature that makes it a fairy tale place in the collective imagination. Number 5 Visconti Castle of Trezzo Salada. It is one of Lombardy's hidden treasures, a testament to the strategic importance of the place over the centuries. Rising majestically on the banks of the Adda River, the castle once represented a fortified bulwark, being one of the greatest examples of 14th-century military architecture. The construction of the castle is attributed to Bernardo Visconti in 1370, who wanted an impregnable and imposing place, so much so that it was recognized as one of the most formidable in Europe at the time. One of the most fascinating aspects of the Visconti Castle is its tower, which rises about 42 meters, offering an impressive panoramic view of the Adda Valley. The architecture of the castle, with its thick stone walls and towers overlooking the Adda, reminds us of the exploits of the Visconti family in the turbulent times of the Italian Middle Ages. Unfortunately, time and wartime events have left their mark on the castle, but its ruins remain fascinating and charged with history, attracting visitors from all over the world. Today, the Visconti Castle of Trezzo Salada represents not only a symbol of Lombardy's past, but also a place to appreciate cultural events, concerts and shows in a unique and evocative atmosphere. Number 6 Rocca San Vitale, Fontanellato. It is an imposing fortified structure in the heart of Emilia-Romagna, a jewel of architecture and art dating back to the 13th century. Located in the center of the small town of Fontanellato, Rocca San Vitale is surrounded by a large water moat, creating a fairy tale landscape. Through the centuries, the Rocca has been the home of the San Vitale family, who commissioned incredible works of art, making the castle a living museum. One of the Rocca's most precious treasures is Parmigianino's Camera de Pinta, a masterpiece of Italian mannerism, with frescoes telling mythological stories and astronomical allegories. With its mighty walls and crenellated towers, Rocca San Vitale represents an example of medieval military architecture, modified and enriched over time with Renaissance and Baroque elements. In addition to its artistic and architectural beauty, Rocca San Vitale is also home to a plant labyrinth, inspired by Renaissance gardens, which stretches for more than a kilometer. As you stroll through the corridors and rooms of the Rocca, you can breathe in the history of a noble Italian family, and take a closer look at antique furniture, portraits and objets d'art that bear witness to centuries of history and culture. Rocca San Vitale di Fontanellato today is a must-see destination for art and history lovers, offering a unique and fascinating view of Italy's past, enclosed in a fairy tale and evocative place. Number 7 Groparello Castle Set in the green hills of Emilia-Romagna, it is a fascinating example of medieval architecture, dating back to the 9th century. The fortress, with its majestic tower and crenellated walls, dominates the Vizino Valley, offering panoramic views of the surrounding landscape. Legend has it that Groparello Castle is inhabited by the ghost of a lady named Rosania, who is said to have chosen the castle as her eternal home, giving it an aura of mystery and charm. The interior of the castle reveals the elegance and luxury of times past, with finely furnished rooms housing a collection of medieval and Renaissance furniture and art objects. The castle is surrounded by a large wooded park, in which a fairy tale trail has been set up that tells stories of ladies, knights and magical creatures. Groparello Castle is famous for its fairy tale park, an immersive adventure for children and families that brings to life the legends and stories related to the castle and its medieval past. Today, Groparello Castle is a popular tourist site that offers not only the chance to explore medieval history and architecture, but also to immerse oneself in a world of fairy tales and legends. Visit Groparello Castle for a unique experience, a journey through time that combines history, art, nature and fantasy. And with that, we conclude our journey through the seven most beautiful fairy tale castles in Italy. I hope you had fun exploring these enchanting places with me and that you discovered new places to add to your list of destinations to visit. These castles represent a small part of Italy's historical, artistic and cultural richness, each with a unique story to tell. 
Whether through its towering towers, ancient walls or fascinating legends, each castle offers us a piece of a distant past to discover and appreciate. Before saying goodbye, we once again invite you to subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so, and to share this video with anyone who might be interested in discovering the wonders of Italian castles. Remember to leave a like if you liked the video, and please feel free to leave a comment telling us which was your favorite castle or if you have others to suggest.